Sabbath. I am a big fan, yo. Old stuff, old Black Sabbath, man. Can't beat it. Anyway, just gonna be paranoid. Uh, before we get into it, I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. Please click on my little bass tutorials I got right down in there. They are free. All you gotta do to get those is click on that little clicker box right down up in there. And um, other than that, let's roll into some Ozzy and some Sabbath, yo! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> So what am I doing there? That is, I am on the seventh fret of the uh, A string, right? And then you're going to go down to the fifth fret, right? And then you're going to hit that is the fifth fret of the D. Then you're going to hit the fifth fret of the A again, right? And then you're going to hit the seventh fret of the A once again. So real slow, that would be... And that's that's pretty much the basic right there of, uh, of, of what that sounds like for the verses um, if you want to right after you do the you can hit the fifth fret of the a string and then the seventh fret of the e string Right, just to get it get it into the next uh, the next repeating pattern. So what that looks like is just like that. Sometimes he does a little flourish there. Right, as two two little hammer-ons right there. What I'm doing is I'm starting on the um, seventh, of course, of the A, and then you're gonna do a hammer-on between the seventh fret of the D and the ninth fret of the D, and then seventh fret of the G and ninth fret of the G. And what that hammer on is, is you're hitting the first note, right? In this case, would be the uh, seventh fret of the D. But then you don't pluck, or if you're using a pick, you don't pick the uh, next note. You just let this finger come down and do all the work, right? See that? pick it would be more like just like that Oops. another way that he puts a little flourish in there is um hitting the octaves of, of that what i just showed you so that would look like if you want a little deeper so instead of going you can go and i'm hammering on between the fifth and the seventh fret of the e and then fifth and then the seventh fret of the a just a way to mix it up a little bit and then for that funny uh, "Can you help me?" part, where he's singing "Can you help me," um, you might be wondering what that what's he what's he doing on the bass right there? Well, he's just hitting octaves right there. So it's basically um, he's hitting the fifth fret of the uh, A string and the seventh fret. Those are octaves, right? And the seventh fret of the G. And you can keep them pressed down like a chord. Or lift up between each one and then you're going to move that to the same pattern basically you're, you're at the fifth fret of the a right now move that down a whole step or i should say up a whole step to the seventh fret so you'd be on the seventh fret of the a and ninth fret of the g just like that very very simple just some octaves all right, so uh, the part right in the beginning, what you're gonna do there is you're gonna slide from the first, all the way from the first fret of the A string, right? All the way up <coughs> to the seventh fret of the A string. And you're gonna hit that three times, that seventh fret. And then you're gonna do these sweet hammer-ons between the, um, the uh, fifth fret of the uh, of the of the E and the seventh fret of the E to the fifth fret of the A to seventh fret of the A. Now you could also just hit these as regular notes and not hammer on. So it's not like hear the difference. Either way, it's going to sound rad. 
Another way you could do this, of course, is uh, since you're hitting this E right here, the seventh fret, <laughs> the seventh fret of the A string, right? If you want that to, to fill in a little bit more and be a little bit deeper, since that's an E there, you can, why not hit the open E with it? So see, I'm hitting the seventh fret, and I'm also hitting the open E with it as a chord. Sabbath rolling on up into you. Love those guys. Anyway, um, thank you so much for listening. I am Finbar Bass. Hope you enjoyed that little uh, bass ditty. Very, very good bass line for beginning bass players. That could be like the first bass line you ever, you ever actually learn. And it's pretty sweet because then if you incorporate the hammer-ons in there, you learn about the hammer-ons and then, then you're good. Anyway, I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. Please click on my little bass tutorials right down there if you feel like it. Those are not on YouTube at all. Got to click that little clicker box to get them. Uh, other than that, you could subscribe to Finbar Bass, my bass channel, to get more of these. And have fun with that Sabbath, yo. Mm.